Okay, so on to our second part of science writing, um, clear analytical writing. So the focus, uh, the second part of this presentation is on clear and effective prose. And I want you to recall the handout that we have included. Um, it's the handout from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill on science writing, or called Sciences. And it's really a, you know, it's a six-page document that gives you a lot of information about different types of um, elements of science writing. Um, some of them you'll you'll hear me talk about next week and in the last week of our modules of our class, in the last module and the next module. Um, so today I want to focus on just kind of taking out extra words or extra kind of expressions that aren't don't really need to be there for the full meaning to come through. So let me show you an example. So this is a sentence that I made up, but this is something that we would typically see in research writing. It has been widely elucidated in the literature that effic efficacious measures to utilize hand sanitizers have been recommended to critical nurses to prevent the spreading of infections. A lot of big words, elucidated, efficacious, utilize. They're easier, more simpler verbs or words that we can use to describe those words um, and there's a list of them you know four or five of them actually in that handout so make sure you check this out so here's my first attempt of a revision and I'm doing this a few times so my neck my first attempt is I'm gonna take out some of these strange sounding word elucidate efficacious and utilize out so it has been widely explained explained instead of elucidate in the literature that effective rather than efficacious measures to use rather than utilize hand sanitizers have been recommended to critical nurses to prevent the spreading of infections if you notice towards the end of the sentence a lot of two and two and two so the sentence structure is still a little bit uh, confusing it's still very long let's see if we can take some extra words out so rather than saying it has been widely explained in the literature, I'm just going to go much more directly. The literature recommends, right? Because that's really sort of it has been widely explained. Effective measures have been recommended. Well, so it seems like the literature is recommending this. So let me just say that. Come out right off the bat. Shorten the sentence significantly. The literature recommends that nurses should use hand sanitizers to prevent the spreading of infections. It also takes out recommended to and then to prevent, that kind of two, two, one after the other. Um, there is even a more radical version that you could do if you wanted to, and this is this one. Nurses should use hand sanitizers to prevent infections and the citations. So again, we cut down the first sentence from many, many words into a much more succinct, more, com more compact sentence that really much more clearly tells the reader what the main point is. And we're doing this by taking out extra words and rearranging them some things to get to that clear and effective punchline. Let's look at one more example of this. Um, this is an example um, I've taken from one of my, uh, my handbooks I use often when I teach. Um, it is widely known that the engineers at Sundia Labs have become active participants in the search and rescue operations in recent years. It is widely known that is one of those superfluous or extra expressions that in many cases are not needed and can take away from the meaning or the, the, the clear narrative of what you're really trying to say. So here is one possible, the first revision. In recent years, engineers at Sandia Lab have participated in search and rescue operations. I want you to notice that rather than saying these, these engineers have become participants, I'm just going to shorten this and just use the verb participate in here. And here's another revision of this, even more to the point. Engineers at Sandia Labs have participated in recent search and rescue operations. So rather than saying in recent years, I'm just making the rescue operations recent. Either one is fine. It depends on the author's preference, um, also what is, comes before and after the sentence. But both revisions are definitely shorter and more to the point than the original sentence.